this is Vlogmas Day 13. Hope y'all um, like my Vlogmas videos and subscribe to Hunter if y'all if you're new. If you're international, welcome. I'm from America, so yeah. And um, I'm going to be showing you a manger scene, a photography book, and a, a Christmas cookie guide on making cookies. And yeah, hope y'all like this Vlogmas um, and this Vlogmas Day 13. Um, give this video a thumbs up and comment below um, if you have a theme for your Christmas tree or like if you put up mangers, like what you do, um, just let me know for Christmas because I would love to know um, like maybe what kind of projects you like to do every single year or if you like a certain food or just like whatever you want to comment, com comment down below. And now I'm going to show you the manger, you already see it, but I'm going to explain. This is an angel. This is Mary over there. This is the two shepherds. This is a donkey over there. There is a sheep. There is another little donkey. There is three wise men, and they are holding frankincense, gold, and myrrh. And, yeah, and then there's baby juice in the middle. And this is just a symbolic thing. Um, it's great to have mangers because that's the reason for Christmas. Jesus is the reason for the season. So, yeah, that's why we have a manger. And this is in the dining room. So that's why my family and me all have a manger. And, yeah. And you can also get mangers to put in your Christmas tree or whatever you want to do. But, yeah, this is symbolic. And we don't know how the wise men looked or the shepherds or Mary or the angel or any of these people because we were not here 2,000 years ago. So I just wanted to show you all this. I hope you all like it. And now um, I'm going to show you this little Christmas tree. I know it's like right next to it. I just want to show it to you because it has cute little small ornaments. Um, it looks like this. And they have a little candy cane, a little snowman, a little Santa Claus. little thing right here with little sunglasses on Santa Claus. And then like some little like crocheted stuff, little beads. And it's just like this. And it has a little bell on the top. And it's just a little Christmas tree, a little bell. It looks like this. It's super cute, and I really like it. It's like a little, small, cute little Christmas tree. Um, great for your, like, table. You can put it on your desk, but anywhere. I like cute little, small Christmas artificial trees. And I just realized that um, if you go to, like, Walmart or, like, craft store or whatever, you can buy little, like, things that you clip onto the branches, and it makes your tree smell like a real pine tree. But I do really love real Christmas trees, I think. If you can't get a real Christmas tree, you should. But I don't mind artificial. I just like trees. And, yeah, uh, it's always nice to have a real Christmas tree. But this is a fake little one and artificial little one. But I really like it. Uh, and then it has this, like, little crocheted little wreath thing. It's really cute. So, hope you all like this little tree. And now I'm going to go over here into the living room. Um, and I'm going, the lights are all on, but when I show you these books, it's probably not going to focus that good, but sorry about that. This is your digital photography, a complete visual guide, and you can probably get these on Amazon, you can get them anywhere. Um, they're just a photography book, and if you love photography, if you love learning how to edit your pictures, change the lighting, change the shape, if you want to do stuff like that, it's great, because sometimes... The lighting might not be that good. You want to edit it and make the lighting much better. So definitely get a digital photography complete visual guide if you want. And this is by Michael Wright. And yeah. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of inside of it. I know there's a lot to go through. So yeah, that's just like the beginning page. And yeah. So this is just a book that um, I got. So, yeah, and this is equipment, and then there's lens and focusing, light. So, you got to have the lighting a certain way and the lens and the focusing. I know this camera is really fuzzy because um, the lighting's not that good. And then you got the context, and then you got the introduction, and then it talks about why you should do photography and all about photography. Photography is a great thing to pick up if you don't do photography. It's great, so definitely pick up photography if you like photography. And... Yes, and then see, as you can see, the lighting looks different. The color looks different. It's super awesome. And the reason why I'm talking really loud is because my family's in the other room, and I'm trying to block out the noise. So as you can see, um, this is like equipment when you're doing photography. Different cameras, and then there is... What, Sarah? It's time to go. Okay, yeah, it's time to go. So that's why my sister was banging on the um, thing over there because she wouldn't let me know. But I'm just going to finish up to this little bit, little bit of this video. This is the lighting, um, 
it changes the lighting, and I know if you have glasses, people that don't have glasses might not really understand this, but people that have glasses, it glares from your glasses, just to let you know. So this is a great book. It's awesome. It goes into lenses. It goes into editing. It goes into so many things, and I really love it. You can change the way everything looks, and this is just a great guide to photography altogether. So definitely get a book like that, and also if you want to learn a different language, I know Amazon has courses on different languages. So if you want to learn a different language and you are from America and you speak English and you want to learn a different language like Spanish or French or any kind of language, you can learn it and you just need a course. But um, it will take time to learn another language. I know that. I'm trying to learn another language and it's going to take a little while. So you have to have patience. I have realized that. So <laughs> you might get a little frustrated at first, but don't worry. <laughs> and this is just your Food Network magazine. 120 holiday recipes, and just, like, I like these books. You don't have to get these. This is my mother's, and she let me use this for the video. I really like it because it's Christmas cookies and everything. So, yeah, I love baking at Christmas. So, I'm just going to, like, show you this um, right here. So, I hope you all like it. And it looks like this. And I'm about to, like, click this off in a minute. So, I hope you all like this video. And this is just, I like this. I like this fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth. What, Sarah? It's 7 o'clock. Oh, yeah, we have to get going, y'all. So, yeah, these are cool gift ideas and everything. So, yeah, just take a look at them real quick. And it just is just a uh, how to make cookies and different ideas. So, you can get this if you want. Um, and I will go into more depth detail on recipes and stuff like that. Go watch my last vlog. It was a cooking video. So, thank y'all for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. And I'm going to stop talking because we have to get going. So, mm -hmm. bye, y'all. Thank you, Sarah, for telling me it's time to go. Okay, bye, y'all.